subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get all notification hello students today we are going to discuss about a new topic which is inheritance of blood group in humans it's a very interesting topic so i hope you will enjoy this topic let's start the inheritance of blood group in human when we talk about the inheritance like in the previous video where we discussed the heredity part heredity where we discussed the inheritance of characters kaise characters inherit hote hain from parents to their next generation ye cheeze humne seekhi hain and we know that genes are responsible for the inheritance gene responsible hote hain jo characters ko inherit karte hain from one generation to another generation in this similar way the blood group is also inherited from parents to their offspring through some genes to wo jo genes hain jo blood group ke liye responsible hai the genes which are responsible for the inheritance of blood group is known as i genes or they are i genes so i genes are responsible for the inheritance of blood group ये कुछ जीन ये जीन है जो पर्टिकुलर क्रोमोसोम में प्रेजेंट होते हैं एंड दीज जीन्स आर फॉर्म इन टू द थ्री एलिलिक फॉर्म्स इन दी मैडल्स एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट मोनो हाइब्रिड डाई हाइब्रिड कॉल जो हम सब कुछ कर चुके हैं वहां हमने देखा था कि ईच जीन इज फाउंड इन टू द टू अल्टरनेट फॉर्म्स और टू एलिलिक फॉर्म्स वन इज डोमिनेंट एंड अनदर इज रिसेसिव ये चीज हमने पहले समझ ली है but here in the case of these i genes here one variations is or uh, we can say one exception is there ek exception hame yahan milta hai that this gene this gene is not found into the two alleles ye jo gene hota hai ye two alleles ki form mein na milkar ye hame three alleles ki form mein milta hai so here we can say that this i genes can be found into the three allelic forms so here the three alleles that is i a i b or it could be the i o these are the three alleles i o likh sakte hain or we can write it with small i also so these are the same thing so these are the three alleles for this particular i gene which controls or which is responsible for the blood grouping these genes uh, means i gene jo bhi present hai jis bhi allelic form mein present hai they will decide that what kind of blood group that individual will have जिस एलिलिक फॉर्म में ब्लड ग्रुप ये एलिल्स प्रेजेंट होंगे उसी से डिसाइड होगा कि ब्लड ग्रुप क्या होगा यहाँ पे बट एक इंपॉर्टेंट चीज जो आपको बहुत अच्छे से याद रखनी है दैट आउट ऑफ दीज थ्री एलिल्स ईच ह्यूमन बीइंग हैज ओनली टू तीनों के तीनों एलिल्स किसी भी ह्यूमन बींग में किसी भी इंडिविजुअल में प्रेजेंट नहीं रहते हैं ईच इंडिविजुअल हैव ओनली टू एलिल्स दो एलिल्स हो सकते हैं एंड हियर इन दीज थ्री एलिल्स द एलिल ए आई ए एंड आई बी these are the dominant alleles ye jo dono alleles hain these are the dominant alleles ye dono hote hain dominant allele whereas the third allele it is the recessive allele this is the recessive allele so three alleles are there i a i b and i o out of these three i a and i b are the dominant allele and i o is the recessive allele and in teen alleles mein se koi do any two alleles are found in each individual and they will decide that what kind of blood group will be present in this individual so let's see what kind of combination can be found kon kon se combinations mil sakte hain jisse hame pata chalega ki alleles kin two alleles ke form mein mil rahe hain so the possible combination if we write that i a can be present in a homozygous condition if both dominant a i a or this a alleles are present then we will call it that this condition is the homozygous condition i a come with i a or i a will come with the i b or i a can be come with the i o so this is the condition for the this a alleles it could be found in this three different combinations next i b this allele can be come with i b and one allele could be the ib and another allele can be the ib also in the same way that next possibility is the ib can be come with the io and the last one that io can be found into the homozygous condition that is the homozygous recessive condition this is homozygous dominant condition this one is also homozygous dominant condition and the last one is a homozygous recessive condition rest all this one and this one is the homozygous or heterozygous condition these are the heterozygous condition so 
on the basis of presence of these alleles in the case of any human being the blood group can be decided isni ke basis pe decide hoga ki blood group kya hoga so in this case if the dominant alleles a are found the homo in a homozygous condition means i a will come with the i a in this case the blood group will be the a blood group the blood group of the individual will be the a blood group similarly the next when i a alleles come with the i b alleles in this case the blood group will be the a b blood group the blood group will be the a b in the third condition where i a comes with the i o is a heterozygous condition in this condition the blood group will be the a blood group because a is dominant and i o is the recessive i a is dominant allele i o is the recessive allele so in this condition the blood group will be a blood group next condition where we can see that i b genes are present here in the dominant forms or homozygous dominant form these two are dominant and they are present in homozygous condition so the blood group will be the b blood group as it is dominant so it will show their effect blood group will be the b blood group in the next condition where i b will comes with the i o the blood group will be b because one is dominant another is recessive so blood group will be the b blood group and in the last condition where i o i o recessive genes or recessive alleles are present in a homozygous condition here the any um, out of these two means koi bhi dominant yahan pe present nahi hai only alleles are present these are recessive alleles so the blood group will be the o blood group if you want to know that uh, how this uh, will be decided this is the reason iska reason kya hota hai ki kyun ye blood group is tarike se decide ho rahe hain because this i a genes uh, this i genes they are responsible for making a particular type of antigen this i g they make the particular type of antigens on the plasma membrane of rbc hamari blood ke andar आरबीसीज होती हैं उन आरबीसीज के सरफेस के ऊपर कुछ पर्टिकुलर टाइप के प्रोटीन्स और कुछ प्रोटीन स्ट्रक्चर्स प्रेजेंट रहती हैं दीज प्रोटीन स्ट्रक्चर्स आर नॉन एस एंटीजन सो वी कैन से दैट आई जीन विल कंट्रोल दैट व्हाट काइंड ऑफ एंटीजन आर फॉर्म ऑन दी सरफेस ऑफ आरबीसीज आरबीसीज के ऊपर किस टाइप का एंटीजन प्रेजेंट है वो कंट्रोल करेंगे फॉर्मेशन को आईजी एंड उसी के बेसिस पे डिफरेंट डिफरेंट ब्लड ग्रुप्स होते हैं इफ एंटीजन ए इज प्रेजेंट देन ब्लड ग्रुप विल बी द ए ब्लड ग्रुप इफ एंटीजन बी इज प्रेजेंट देन ब्लड ग्रुप विल बी द बी ब्लड ग्रुप एंड इफ एंटीजन ए एज वेल एज एंटीजन बी बोथ आर प्रेजेंट ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन दिस इज द बी दिस वन इज द ए इन दिस कंडीशन द ब्लड ग्रुप विल बी द ए बी ब्लड ग्रुप and if no any antigens are found on the surface of these rbcs then the blood group will be the o blood group agar ye bhi nahi hai aur ye bhi nahi hai kisi bhi tarike ka antigen rbcs ki plasma membrane pe present nahi hai us case mein blood group hoga o blood group so this is the reason that we have discussed here that formation of these antigens are decided by these alleles or genes तो इस तरीके से जीन कंट्रोल करता है कि कौन सा एंटीजन बनाना है आरबीसीज की सरफेस पे और दैट थिंग डिटरमाइन द ब्लड ग्रुप ऑफ ईच इंडिविजुअल तो हियर वी डिस्कस द डिफरेंट एलिस एंड हाउ दीज एलिस आर रिस्पांसिबल फॉर डिटरमाइनिंग द ब्लड ग्रुप नाउ वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दीज थिंग्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन वन एग्जांपल सो लेट्स डिस्कस वन एग्जांपल हियर वन एग्जांपल व्हिच वी वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज सपोज अ पर्सन अ मैन इज गिवन who has o blood group if man hai or if you or we can say that father has the o blood group father has the sorry let's write it ya all likh liya a likh it is just all depend to you agar hum yahan pe a likh le suppose the father has the a blood group and the mother has the o blood group and there one progeny one progeny could be ho sakta hai it could be the daughter or it could be the son so we were taking the example of daughter hum daughter ke sath le rahe hain the daughter has the blood group o so this is the given information now you have to find the genotype of the blood group of these parents of these parents yahan pe jo parents hain inka blood group ka genotype kya hoga so how you will calculate or how you will find it that i will going to tell you because is type ke kuch questions hai jo aapko exams mein puche jate hain and you need little bit practice to find out these types of questions or to solve these questions so here 
वी हैव गिवन दैट फादर हैज ए ब्लड ग्रुप फादर के पास ए ब्लड ग्रुप है वी हैव टू पॉसिबिलिटीज फॉर द ए ब्लड ग्रुप इट कुड बी होमोजाइगस डोमिनेट और इट कुड बी हेचरोजाइगस यहाँ पे ब्लड ग्रुप ए दो पॉसिबिलिटीज में मिल सकता है या तो वो होमोजाइगस हो या वो हेचरोजाइगस हो सो वी विल डिस्कस दिस एग्जाम्पल इन दू टू केसेस इन टू सिचुएशन सो लेट्स दिस इज द सिचुएशन वन अगर हम सिचुएशन वन के साथ इसको डिस्कस कर रहे हैं वे वी हैव टेकन दैट फादर हैज दिस कंडीशन दैट इज ब्लड ग्रुप इज इज आई ए एंड आई ए दिस इज द ब्लड ग्रुप ऑफ द फादर एज द ब्लड ग्रुप ऑफ मदर इज गिवन इज ओ O is present only in one situation that is homozygous recessive condition. तो यहाँ पे तो कोई confusion ही नहीं है. Only the confusion is here with the case of father blood group. So it could be I A or I A. This is the worst one possibility or one situation. Next, if it get married with the woman who has the blood group O. So this is the genotype of the mother. In this case, their progenies has Let's see what different types of the possibilities there. That I O and I O, and if this I A will cross with this one, then it will be the I A and I O. If this A R, this will I A I O. It could be I A I O, and this for this one also we have C I A. I O. So in this situation, all the progenies which are produced or formed with this parents, with these parents, then the they all have the blood group A. They all have A blood group. But in our question, it is given that daughter has the blood group O. So it means this situation is not possible. The father is not homozygous dominant. यानी कि फादर का जो ब्लड ग्रुप है वो होमोजाइगस डोमिनेंट नहीं है तो इट मींस द फादर इज हेटेरोजाइगस इट हैज वन डोमिनेंट एलील एंड इट हैज वन रिसेसिव एलील देन सी व्हाट कुड बी द सिचुएशन नाउ लेट्स दिस विद द सेकंड सिचुएशन सिचुएशन 2 इसके साथ अब हम देखते हैं नाउ वी विल टेक द ब्लड ग्रुप ऑफ फादर एज एन हेटेरोजाइगस सो इट कुड बी आई ए एंड आई ओ इट क्रॉस विद द आई ओ I O in this situation that I A and I O here two types of possibilities are I O and I O. Okay, if these gametes fuse together, then I A I O. If this will I A I O, and if these will cross together, that the I O and I O. And if these will cross together, then the possibility will be I O and I O. So here we will find that the fifty percent progenies, fifty percent जो इनकी offsprings होंगे, they will have the A blood group, and the fifty percent their progenies will have the O blood group. And that is given in our question. I mean, question में क्या लिया था? That father has A blood group, mother has O blood group, and daughter has O blood group. So we have to find the genotype of the these parents. अगर हम parent generation का genotype हमें find करना है, then this is the situation which could be the possible. यही वो situation होगी, जिसकी वजह से daughter का blood group O होगा. It means in this example, the father is homos heterozygous I A and I O. Mother has I O and I O. These are the genotypes of the parents. So here we discuss that how the blood group get how this blood group get inherited from their parents to their offspring. This is the uh, this is possible because of the these genes which are known as I genes. I genes are responsible for making particular antigens, and these antigens are found on the surface of RBCs. These antigens are found on the surface, or we can say on the plasma membrane of RBCs. If the antigen is A, then blood group will be A blood group. If antigen is B, blood group is B. And if both A and B antigens are there, then blood group is AB. And if antigen is not present on the plasma membrane of RBC, then blood group क्या हो जाएगा? It could be the O blood group. And this formation of these particular antigen is decided by the presence of these alleles. These IgG can be found into the 
आईडी जो है ये मिलता है इन थ्री एलियट्स की प्रेजेंस में आई ए आई बी और आई ओ थ्री मल्टी थ्री एलिल कंडीशन में मिलता है आउट ऑफ दिस आई ए एंड आई बी आर दी डोमिनेट एलिल आई ओ इज द रिसेसिव एलिल एंड दिस आर द पॉसिबल सिचुएशन इन व्हिच दिस एलिल्स कैन बी फॉर्म बिकॉज़ ओनली टू एलिल्स आर फॉर्म इन ईच इंडिविजुअल तो ये वो सिचुएशन है जिन जिन सिचुएशंस के अंदर ये एलिल्स ह्यूमन बीइंग के अंदर प्रेजेंट रहते हैं and here we discuss this transmission of these alleles or these genes into the offsprings with the help of example this is our example which we can discuss in this two situation so that's all about the inheritance of blood groups